Welcome to an introduction to accounting. In this podcast we are going to look at an accounting system which was written for Linux. The version of Linux that I'm using is Linux Mint. Some of you will call it Linux. So let's not worry about that. And the program that I've downloaded and installed is Quasar for a single user and it's a Debian version. You can get other versions. So I go to the menu and if we go to the office section oops, we can see that there are two programs here Quasar Accounting, Quasar Admin before you can actually use Quasar Accounting you'll have to set up the Quasar Admin uh, the default password for that by the way is Admin you will change that once you open it you then go to Quasar Accounting and we want to try and create a new company which I hope it will let me do even though it's a single user and since the local computer is in fact the server I can ignore that and let's just enter a password here and to create the company I now need to set up a test program so I'm going to use this as a test company and I'm going to enter a password and click on OK it's whirring away so it's attempting to do something not the fastest of programs here what I can do of course I suppose is pause that and wait for it to respond okay now we can continue our recording and you can see that the screen which has opened up is for the test company that we've just set up and we will just look at the way in which it's set up this is the card file which we're not too interested in. Let's look at the ledger one. So it gives us a chart of accounts, journal entry, payout, transaction journal transfer, all of which is fairly standard. Checks, it allows us to receive checks and to write checks. It also has a reconciliation facility. Inventory, it allows us to create items in inventory to make adjustments and so on. Sales, it allows us to take orders, it allows us to take quotes and it allows us to convert those into customer invoices. Purchases, we can make purchase orders, we can receive the invoices and of course we can pay the bills. consignments in consignments out you're not likely to use now some of the more familiar ones are journal entry standard journal entry we'll cancel that writing a check you note that it appears little like the, the check you fill in the details and so on you look at the accounts and the amounts where you're going to look up things like suppliers customer quotes, customer orders, customer invoices, customer payments and so on. So it is actually a fairly standard program. The reports, we can have an account list, an account type list and so on. Balance sheets, departments, inventory on hand, ledger postings and so on. So it's a fairly, yes, it's a fairly comprehensive list. If I go to the set.